What's up guys, Tash Buddy, the best buddy of all time here. And the first thing I want to tell you guys is Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Before I end the year, I'd just like to share with you guys my experience of using this particular gaming laptop. Now, for a while now, you guys have been asking me, Tash, what makes a good gaming laptop? I've always believed in their brand. Their brand is always very good at listening and always improving over time, and that will be Lenovo. Hear me out, I'm not being biased. I am not one to endorse or approve or promote any brands or items that I don't believe in myself, that I myself have not tried. So rest be sure you're gonna get a super, super honest review from me. Bam, this is the laptop. The Lenovo Y520 Lenovo Malaysia has graciously let me try out. So thank you guys so much for the laptop. Straight up, when you guys pick this up, you guys would think that is one very classic, classy looking laptop. This is how it looks like the top side and this is how the bottom side looks. There's nothing that screams out gaming about it. Even the branding itself, the Lenovo logo, is very subtle, very classy and elegant over the top right. And that's all the brand you're gonna get. It's not like the other brands which has a splash right here. It's not like other gaming laptops where it has red gaming accents all over. The laptop is pretty light. It goes up about 2.4 kilograms. This goes about 25.8 millimeters from top to top. Uh, from top to bottom. You know, the heat sinks over in the back. Usually for the Wi Fi 410P that I used to have back in university, the heat sinks over this side. And it has kept run a little bit hot, which kind of sucks. I'll put my hand here, and it kind of burns my hand. This one is the back here, so you never, you're not really gonna feel it. The air, because the air moves in the back. Also, another thing about it, it doesn't seem to get hot at all, despite heavy gaming. You open the inside, boom! You're gonna be met with all these red accents. So just turn it on real quick. This is what I really like about it. Turn it on, and you get. You are met with the Lenovo Legion uh, logo, which is to me very simple and very sleek and elegant. And then boom, it's turned on. And you see how fast it turns on. You are free to change the brightness and it's really like this is the mid setting and this is how it looks like on the brightest. Dark, mid, brightest. And I think it's pretty great that they have that option there. This laptop has two sides of ports, of course. Over on this side, you have a USB 2.0, you have the audio jack, and you have the Ethernet. And then on this side, you have the USB Type-C SD card reader, two USB 3.0s, as well as a HDMI cable. It's the port selection is actually pretty cool. When I used to have the Y410P, what I didn't like about it is the hinge. So there was a hinge here, and there was a little problem where it always got stuck and broke. So whenever I open it, it's like clack, clack, clack. See, they upgraded the hinge over this side. They changed it over here at all. And so far, I have been loving the hinge. There has been no problem at all. And plus, they even put the speakers over here, and the speakers work pretty well. It sounds like the sound is projecting right at you. It's perfect. I don't like it when the sound's all over the place, which is what the old models used to have. And in terms of bass, I think it works just fine. Nothing too crazy amazing, but it does the job. So this laptop also has an IPS panel, which means that regardless of where you view it at, down here, up here, anywhere you're going to have amazing angles this laptop has a kind of soft velvety feeling down here but up top here it feels like it's a brushed metallic kind of finish unlike the outside here it's kind of like a full aluminium that's textured the keyboard is very fairly simply used it's very soft easy to get used to i was gaming on it for a little while i did some mega legends as well as uh, some bioshock infinite and I had no problems at all adjusting myself to the keyboard. But I don't know about you guys because I'm so used to the, um, maybe because the laptop is small. So the kind of number pad is like oh, way over there. So to have it over here, it kind of throws me a little bit off. But I never really use the, um, the number pad. So it doesn't really bother me. But if you guys use the number pad, that's something you might want to consider. The keyboard uses an ELAN and it has pretty good sensitivity and what i like about it is that unlike the y410p it had the buttons built underneath the trackpad which after about uh, two years use the it kind of like lost its responsiveness so but this one it's uh it's its own designated buttons if you want to use it you can't be pressing it in the middle there because that's where it's it's kind of like you would say i kind of like a lever kind of so, you know, the more to the side you press it, the more responsiveness you're gonna get. You get about four to five hours of battery life, just, you know, casually using, browsing the internet and all that on the highest brightness. 
But if you're gaming, you're gonna get about 45 minutes to an hour. This is by game I mean heavy gaming. I'm talking about like maybe Overwatch, Bioshock, League of Legends, anything else that uses a little bit more power, which I think it's pretty amazing as well. That's a pretty long battery life. So the webcam and mic looks like this. This laptop boasts a four gigabytes of RAM, a i7 7700HQ CPU, uh, NVIDIA GTX 1050 Ti for the GPU and it has a 1TB plus 128GB hard disk. Let's talk about you know how this baby works when you play games. I tried out two games with this. First off, I tried out League of Legends, of course. So I played some League of Legends on this. I tried it out and I'm pretty damn happy with the performance you can see here. I played about half an hour game. How was the support? And you can see it was it was quite smooth, not much of a frame drop. The only reason there's a little bit of frame drop is because I was recording. But then again, most PCs have that problem when they're recording or even streaming. But you know, imagine if but without recording, I was actually sitting about 80 to 100 frames per second. Let's try a little bit, something a little bit more heavy. I tried out Bioshock Infinite, which is kind of like a heavy kind of game. And it ran so smoothly on the highest setting. I didn't have any problems. The only thing I turned off was the anti-aliasing. -ali uh, I don't like that when I'm gaming. And you know, it moved as smooth, it smooth as better. Not much of a problem. I had no trouble with the FPS. Overall, I think this is a really decent laptop for its price. If you are someone who is, you know, constantly on the move, you are someone who needs a laptop, you don't really want to be getting a desktop because, you know, maybe just like portability, maybe you just want to be gaming everywhere. I definitely recommend this. Because you are able to upgrade the components inside. You can upgrade the RAM, you can upgrade the memory. But overall, I think that this is a pretty damn amazing laptop for the price tag. And you know what? This laptop, sure, it's made out of a lot of, you know, plastic parts, but it is very solid and well built. It's not heavy, it's not clunky, it looks super sleek and elegant. It can run most games on highest, no problem. Maybe a little bit, for something a little bit more heavier, like a, maybe Battlefield, you might want to bring it down a little bit just to keep the frames. This is what you want to find in a laptop, and I'm telling you guys, if you guys want to get your own, I recommend you guys go to Lazada or the Lenovo Malaysia website. Yes, they just up, they just launched that and there's always deals for laptops on there a lot. And then if you guys do get it, tag me in it and let me know what you think of it. Alright, this is Tash Money. Peace guys.